Waffles are one of my oh. favorites. I always, when I go to a restaurant, always I'm always like, why do they always have pancakes and eggs as a combo? Sure. I want waffle and eggs as a combo on every breakfast menu. Dude, I'm telling you, this is the way to start a weekend, right? Friday morning, and you gotta have it with waffles. So we have Ashley and Tim Delaney. They are the owners of Waffle Bar and Bakery, and they're with us today. We're gonna talk a little bit about the Ballyhoo Festival, but today we're just showing you all the goodness that they have. So guys, good morning to you, and welcome to Studio 10. We're so excited to have y'all so tell me what we're making this morning and some of these creations that you have okay so this morning we're gonna start with making a basic waffle recipe from scratch which is how we make all of our waffles and then we're gonna show you how we make our chicken and waffle and then we're gonna finish up with showing you how we make our dessert waffle called the strawberry dream oh yeah now Tim how did you guys get started in this business that's waffles this sounds like a fun job well it first took off with Ashley she has a background in pastry and she just wanted to use that background and create something different and unique in this area. So we went with waffles and we spent about a year or more coming up with different recipes. Wow. So we're eating, eating waffles, waffles all the time. <laughs> Our kids loved it. So. I was about to say, if you've got kids, I'm sure yes, they're not they loved they're it. not sad about that. So let's go ahead and get started with this typical waffle recipe. Tell me about your ingredients. Yeah. Okay, so this is, um, our dry ingredients first, it's flour and salt and sugar and a few secret ingredients sure. in there that we won't get into. And then we always use, you know, real butter and um, premium ingredients in all of our waffle batter. Mm -hmm. And then we have, this is our wet ingredient, so it's milk and uh, some vegetable oil and some other secret ingredients. Of course, vanilla, real vanilla. Yeah. And so you just want to pour the wet into the dry. And then you don't want to over mix your batter, mm -hmm. but you do want to get well incorporated. All and right. Well, maybe a few lumps, but yeah. But that's you've been fine. working on it this recipe for a year, so like we trust your process yes. totally. <laughs> now you guys are part of a really fun festival that's coming up. So Tim, tell me about that. Yes, yeah, so it's the Ballyhoo Festival, and we've been going to it for a few years, and it's a great festival. And uh, before we started up uh, bringing our food truck to it, we also just went there just for fun with the mm -hmm. family and um, it's really great experience. Yeah, and it's gonna be a lot of fun, so you can go and enjoy everything, but you can also go and enjoy waffles, too. We're gonna have a, um, an interview later on in the show about the festival with more details on that. So if someone does want to come see you this weekend or get a waffle from you guys, how can they do that? Um, well, we won't be set up until the Ballyhoo Festival. Uh -huh. We usually just do the bigger festivals in the area, so for now, so. Um, we have a Facebook page. You can follow us at Waffle Bar and Bakery and see where we're going to be at from time to time. Awesome. All right. So you know where to find them and follow them if you want some waffles. But March 5th and 6th, that's going to be your first opportunity. So you want to do that at the festival. When we come back with Joe, you guys, what are we going to be doing next? Um, we're going to be frying some chicken and show you how we put it in our waffles. That's a good Friday, you guys. We're going to have more <laughs> about them on our website a little bit later on today. Joe. We certainly do know a food truck that will be there. We are with Ashley and Tim Delaney. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Yeah, absolutely. We're so excited to showcase what you do and all this great food that you brought here to the studio and that the folks can enjoy when they come on out to see y'all. So what are we going to work on this segment? Okay, so right now we're going to show you how we make our fried chicken. We make it all from scratch and everything's made fresh to order. So first you want to get your chicken tenders and you always want to go dry first. So how did you come up with Waffle Bar and Bakery? How did the whole <laughs> thing come, come together? Um, well, like my husband was saying, I went to school for pastry and I wanted to do something a little unique to the area. Yeah. And, you know, in our house, we're obsessed with waffles, especially our son, Cypress. <laughs> he loves a good waffle. So we decided to make something that he would enjoy. How so. old is Cypress? He is 15 now. All right. I feel you, Cypress. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. Waffles have always been my favorite breakfast <laughs> treat to have. So this fried chicken recipe, how'd you come up with this one? Um, once again, Cypress is very partial to <laughs> a certain type of um, fried chicken so I worked through a bunch of different recipes and I came up with this basic you know flour dredge it and an egg wash and then back into the flour and and fresh oil and yeah it's very simple fried chicken recipe and all good so you yes. as we mentioned you're gonna be part of the Ballyhoo festival how did that come about um, well we've done this event in the past and actually um, we're from Gulf Shores so mm -hmm. you know we always have a good time there and decided 
we would like to vend again this year. Well, from that interview we just saw and from previous experience, a fantastic time out at Ballyhoo, and you can get some fantastic food along with it when you stop by the Waffle Bar and Bakery. So where are you all going to be set up during this thing, or is it pretty obvious you just walk through and you see all the food trucks and yeah. stuff like that? Um, they're all going to be centrally located sure. in the middle of the state park. So in terms of your food truck in general, we know this is your next event, but how can the folks at home keep track of where you all, what's coming up next and all that good stuff? They can uh, keep track of us uh, with our website mm -hmm. and also on Facebook. It's a right. good way to keep track. And we'll post the links to those on the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. But how many events do y'all try to do? How frequent is the Waffle Bar and Bakery out there? Um, it's pretty limited yeah. for the time being because we're, you know, busy with other projects. But generally about twice a month. And, you know, depending on the season, too, we're not really out there in the blazing heat of the summer. So Limited opportunities yes. to get all the goodness. So if you see Waffle Bar and Bakery, you definitely need to snatch up that opportunity. All right, so we've got the chicken frying mm -hmm. here. Uh, what are we going to do in our final segment? when we come back with y'all in about 10 minutes. Or um, so. We're going to show you how we top our chicken and waffle, and then we're going to show you how we make our strawberry dream. All right, lots of great stuff going on here in the Studio 10 kitchen. We are all getting hungry. It smells so good. Thanks a lot, y'all. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Studio 10 after this. All right, welcome back. We're with Ashley and Tim Delaney. They're the owners of Waffle Bar and Bakery. And this morning they are gracing us with their presence. And wow, this looks absolutely delicious. So Tim, tell us what we're doing now, and what we've been making this morning. So right now we've made the batter to make a waffle and also made the chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna show you all what we do to make a chicken and waffle. First, we, uh, we take a couple chicken strips and cut them right down the middle. Yeah, and those are pretty tender because you're using oh, a yeah. plastic knife. <laughs> That's pretty impressive there. Mm -hmm. And then take your waffle, put your chicken strips right there. Yep. On that. And then we take our made up. from scratch, yes please. <laughs> there we go. Thank chicken you. Fingers. Yep. The made from scratch uh, honey butter. Mm -hmm. And this honey comes from our own bees. Wow, yeah. mm -hmm. you guys are <laughs> awesome. How yeah. cool is that? So honey butter too, that's always in. Um, yeah. So that looks delicious. So while he's doing that, Ashley, you're making something kind of more sweet rather than yes. savory. So this one's inspired by our daughter, Adeline, who has a love for strawberries and of course ice cream. Yeah. So we put <laughs> our vanilla ice cream on this. And while you're doing that, Ashley, tell me about where folks can see it coming up March 5th and 6th. Um, we'll be at the Ballyhoo Festival at the Gulf State Park in Gulf Shores. Um, it runs from 9 to 5, I believe, mm -hmm. on Saturday, and then 11 to 5 on Sunday. Awesome. Well, it's going to be so much fun. Again, we just had an interview with the folks. There are some organizers, and it's going to be a great time. While she's finishing that up, um, Tim asked your wife earlier what this was, and this is pretty genius over here. So this is our waffle on a stick, yeah. and we do different toppings. We have uh, chocolate covered and also for the season right now with uh, Mardi Gras, we have a Mardi Gras uh, stick waffle mm -hmm. and also a chocolate waffle with local pecans and some caramel drizzle on top of that. Yeah, it seems like you guys really do have like quality products, which sounds so amazing and so yummy. So again, the first time you can see them if you want something soon is the Ballyhoo Festival. There it is. I'm sure your daughter <laughs> Adeline. Uh, I'm thankful that she likes strawberries because that looks absolutely yes. delicious. <laughs> you can't forget about the chicken and waffles too. For people to keep up with you, you said y'all typically roll about twice a month. Mm -hmm. um, where can they find you online? Um, we are on Facebook at Waffle Bar Bakery and as well as on Instagram. All right. Well, thank you all so much for coming this morning. I have a chicken and waffle to eat, Jeff. <laughs> all right, y'all. The Ballyhoo Festival coming up March 5th and 6th. Remember, this weekend is a big one on the Gulf Coast, Joe. So much going on. So much Mardi Gras. So many festivals. Hope you get a chance to enjoy some of it. We will see you back here Monday morning.